From unflappable goaltending to timely scoring. The Habs are primed towards a lengthy playoff run. Meanwhile, for the winged wheel, consistency has been the motto of the Motor City for 23 years. Scores just like that! Henrik continues to stay red hot! Tonight, with both entrenched in the postseason picture, it's an eye towards the top of the Atlantic that these original six rivals envy. Detroit, Montreal, next on Sportsnet. Tonight, we're in downtown Detroit for a game with big implications in the Atlantic Division. Joe Louis Arena has hosted many memorable matchups between the Habs and the Red Wings, and they will again tonight. P.K. Subban did some heavy lifting on Saturday against Toronto. He'll be counted on again, and Max Pacioretty will look to lead the offensive charge. Hello and welcome to the Hockey Central Studios. I'm Chantal Desjardins. We'll be joined by Corey Hirsch and Damian Cox. But for now, for more, let's go down to the guys who are calling the game, John Bartlett and Jason York. Thank you very much, Chantel. Well, the Canadians have won two straight against the Red Wings this season. Four straight overall, and this is a good potential playoff matchup tonight, Jason. Yeah, the third meeting, and Montreal's won both games so far. Terry Price back in October beat him 2-1. He's going to get the start tonight. No Sergei Gonchar for the Montreal Canadiens. He's out, but Tom Gilbert is in. Greg Pattern was recalled. He won't play tonight. But the goaltending matchup, as you said tonight, Carey Price and Jimmy Howard would be an outstanding one to watch. Uh, two all-stars tonight, and Price has been on a torrid run for the Montreal Canadiens. He's been spectacular the last month and a half, so this should be a doozy tonight. Looking forward to the original six matchup here at the Joe. Chantal? Thanks, guys. And now, uh, just quickly, what's the one thing that we need to watch for tonight? Well, tonight it's the goaltending matchup for me, Howard versus Price. Howard hasn't played much this year. He needs to get in the game early. I like to get shots early, get involved, get in the game. And Carey Price, he just needs to continue doing what he's doing. You know, it, something's got to give tonight. Yeah, Montreal's got a great road record. Detroit's really good at home. Montreal's got that good road record, despite the fact they can't score on the road. Uh, 28 teams have more goals on the road this year than the Canadians, but the Canadians have a good record. Something's got to give here tonight between the Habs and the Red Wings in, the, in what should be a great divisional matchup. Habs looking to sweep the season series tonight. Corey, did you have one last night? Yeah, you know, one th other thing that I just wanted to touch on was uh, with, with P.K. Subban and Markov playing all these minutes, Detroit's going to want to get in on the forecheck early and hammer these guys all night long. That is something that they're going to want to do. When you have a team that's weak, it's like, it's like a weak cub or whatever you want to get in on them you want to hammer them early and then you want why to get would you want to hammer a weak cub? why would you want to That's hammer a, a weak nasty. cub Sorry. disturbing no, <laughs> no cub hammering on i this got show. issues all right <laughs> ex-goalie Habs and red wings the action coming up after this Welcome back. Minutes away from puck drop. Jacob Tolaro is 19 years old and really impressing Coach Terrier. Well, and, and I think the Canadians have brought him along really intelligently this season. Let's remember, he's 19 years old. He was a second-round draft pick two years ago. All of a sudden, after 37 games in Hamilton, now they're giving him some time. And it looks like whatever they give him, he's going to run with 15 minutes the other night against the Leafs. He might start to get even more. Big kids, six foot two, playing really well. Uh, for absolutely, him. but the, I'm excited about this game. How many more Habs Detroit Red Wing games do we have left to watch at the Joe? I played my first NHL game at the Joe. This is the most historic, wonderful buildings in the league. I'm excited about tonight's game. Montreal has won eight of their last nine on the road. And now we head over to the Joe where we find John Bartlett and Jason York. Thank you much, uh, Chantal, and welcome to Detroit. The Motor City, Joe Louis Arena, one of the great buildings to get to experience. And the Canadians will do just that tonight against their division rivals. Carey Price will get the call. And since December 9th, Carey Price has been 17-3-1 with a 1.46 goals against average and 9.50 save percentage. 
At the other end of the ice, Jimmy Howard gets the call for the Detroit Red Wings. In his career against Montreal, he's 3-3-1 with an 884 save percentage. That's actually the lowest save percentage he has against any opponent. And Mike Babcock, of course, behind the bench here, the Red Wings, and once again leading this team into a playoff spot. Should be a great matchup tonight. Mike Babcock, Michelle Therrien, two of the top coaches in the National Hockey League right now. Justin St. Pierre and Dan O'Halloran are the officials, while Shandor Alfonso and Scott Driscoll will work the line. Zetterberg works it up the boards, and it's Tatar that brings it out, but his drop pass ends up on the stick of Galchenyuk. Swung back around, Cromwell is on it. Played ahead, off the stick of Tatar, and down the ice, and this will be an early icing call against Detroit. Well, Michelle Therrien seems to be pushing all the right buttons for the Montreal Canadiens so far this season. They've been such a consistent group. They've avoided those long losing streaks. And the top team on the road right now in the NHL, and for a team that doesn't score a lot on the road, they just find a way to get it done on the road all season long so far. And Michelle Therrien ties John Muckler for 46th in all-time games coached in the NHL with tonight's contest. Puck gets flipped in the Canadian zone, and Gilbert is back to get it. He's paired up with Alexa Yemelin today. So Puck gets cleared into the wing zone, and that'll be an icing call against Montreal. Mike Babcock currently in his 10th season with the Detroit Red Wings. He's the longest tenured coach so right now in the NHL and with the same team. And on December 6th, he became the second fastest coach to win 500 games, and we all know who's first on that list. Scotty Bowman. Here's to Kaiser handing it off and a drive from the line by Kyle Quincy is handled by Kerry Price. When you think of the Detroit Red Wings, you think of you think of skill, you think of speed, you think of Pavel Datsuk, but Mike Babcock likes his teams to play simple hockey. Win face-offs, get it back to the point, and get as many pucks in there as you possibly can. And you heard Nyquist in the pregame, and that's what they try and do, get as many shots, pucks, and bodies. And if you're going to beat Carey Price, that's how you have to do it. Yemelin up with a puck. He'll get it up off the glass. That one is out. And back on it is Brendan Smith for the Red Wings. Being watched by Brandon Prust. Played it up ahead for Darren Helm, but he's checked, and Smith has got it again. Feeds it across for Marchenko. Now Helm up for Datsuk. Pavel Datsuk. Flips it in back of the net. Yemelin is there to work it around the boards. Lars Heller trying to chip it out, got it to the line, and now it is cleared as it's handed off. Heller will roll it into the Red Wing zone. Smith back on it. He's going to wait, back of the Detroit net with it. Being watched by Brendan Gallagher. Hands it off for Kyle Quincy. Played out at center, broken up by Weaver. Quincy trying to move it. Weiss in there as well, but it's brought back by Galchenyuk. He'll take a shot off his stick and wide. Brandon Gallagher rolls it back to Galchenyuk under his stick. And Kyle Quincy is there, and he'll flip it off the glass, but it hits an upright, stays in. Galchenyuk hustled over for it, but Smith was able to deflect it out. Mike Weaver up ahead to Brandon Gallagher. Dodged the check, got it to the line. The late offside is Galchenyuk has to clear the zone. With Gallagher firing it into the Canadians, go off for a change. Kyle Quincy feeds it over on the wing for Wilkin Anderson. Played to the line and knocked away by Andre Markov. Now Dirko in on the forecheck try to play. Malholcha knocked it away and it's Markov that will get it ahead as Portoval tipped it out. Kyle Quincy hands it off for Miller. Drew Miller trying to feed it back in the middle. That got broken up and it's played back into the Red Wing zone. Howard will set it up. In comes Thomas to steal it. Bonneval was parked in front. Couldn't get the puck to him. And Tomas Yepto back the other way for the Red Wings. will lift it into the Canadian zone. Price moved it quickly for Thomas. Across the Malhotra. Lifts it in. And that got batted over the air by Jonathan Erickson as Cromwell is back on. Nicholas Cromwell. Waiting back of his own net. Riding a three-game point streak as he sends it up the middle. And it's Tatar on the attack. Tatar trying to cut in, but he's forced wide by Yemelin. Yemelin knocks Tatar down to the corner. That'll be a penalty. And the Red Wings will go to work with the NHL's best power play early in this one. Not the start you wanted if you're the Montreal Canadiens. 
Yemlin does a nice job on the one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to end up getting a penalty. And this is the one thing you don't want to do is give the Red Wings an opportunity. And Yemlin does a nice job. It's that little cross-check at the end. And sometimes you get away with these, sometimes you don't. And you see Tatar's going into the corner and just that quick little jolt to the back is just enough to get Tatar off his feet and send Yemlin to the box here. And it's an art form when you're a defenseman, you go into the corner just giving enough. I think Tatar was on his way down and it made it a pretty easy call for the official. And as good as the Red Wings have been on the power play overall in the league at 26.3%, they're over 30% at home, and in their past seven home games, 48.1%. So almost clicking on a power play goal for every second opportunity. Yeah, they're just, it's such a simple power play, too. Like I mentioned before, they like to get it back to their point man and just drift as many pucks as they can towards the blue paint. Nice up with it, played it across, as Zetterberg will roll it in front, comes back over to Justin Abdelkader. Abdelkader played it back to the net. Markov is there to get it, and he'll fire it down the ice. Canadians penalty killers have killed off 10 straight over their past six games, and perfect seven for seven in the last two, so a good matchup here. Cromwell breaking back out for Detroit. He'll carry it in. Deep wide by Pacioretty, and it's broken up by Placan. It's a race for the puck, but back first is Nyquist. Now it is Weiss. On it for the Red Wings, dropping it off. They're going to set it up and get the change here on the power play. Danny to Kaiser. Hangs on to it. As Datsuk will start out. The Kaiser feeds it ahead for Datsuk. Pavel Datsuk gains the zone. Sends it off for the wing. Now back for Tatar. Across for the Kaiser. The Kaiser back for Tatar. Tatar. Hangs on to it, throws it for the Kaiser, chipped it over the stick of Helm. Weaver trying to play it away. Riley Shan is there to knock it free. Shan back over to the Kaiser, walking in now low for Tatar, and it was off his stick. He would have had a great chance at the lower circle. The Kaiser on it again, slides it across, walking in. A shot by Nancy, blocked by Price, and the puck gets cleared. Howard wanted to play it instead. He'll hand it off and leave it for Cromwell. Ten seconds to go on the power play for the Red Wings. Cromwell hands it off. And it's Erickson that'll fire it in off the glass, and it's skipped to the side of the net. Price will poke it away. Benny Moholtra's after it. Yemelin is out of the box. Moholtra gets it out, and the Canadians have killed off the Red Wings' man advantage. Good job by the Canadians. Didn't give the Red Wings much. They didn't allow them to set up. Now Gallagher deflects it into the Detroit zone, and it's swiped away by Erickson. Quincy left it. Yurko will play it back for Quincy. Got up by Markov. Subban in there as well. Lukanek up around the boards. Galchenyuk can't get to it. The Kaiser fires. It's off a stick in front. Drew Miller will pick it up. Miller trying to get away from Lukanek. Got knocked down in the process. Subban gets it up off the glass, and that puck will come out. Gallagher intercepts, hands it off for Plakanitz. Little give and go with Galchenyuk. Back for Plakanitz. Under his stick as it goes to the net, and Howard will cover it up with Gallagher heading straight to the net. And no surprise draws a little attention from the Red Wings. From the Motor City, you're watching Canadian Hockey on Sportsnet, presented by Rogers. The Canadians have one of the top penalty-killing units in the National Hockey League. That's because Michelle Terry and Likes his penalty close to be aggressive. Right here, Mechanics doesn't allow the Red Wings to get the zone, and it doesn't matter how good your power plays. If you can't set it up, it's tough to get opportunities. They finally do get it set up, and it's Datsuk gets the shot with a good screen from Helm. And this is the key to the Canadian system. Hard back pressure by Gallagher, turn pucks over, and kickstart that transition game. Scramble off the draw on the Red Wings zone as Dale Weiss will kick it free. Now it's Quincy that's on it, and he hands it off for Tatar. Tatar to the line, tipped away. Look out, Dale Weiss comes in and runs at Thomas Tatar right at the whistle and knocked him down. And Abdelkader will take exception to that. Dale Weiss has been playing some, some great hockey the last couple weeks since being inserted on that top line. And against the Leafs, against the Leafs, he Spent a few shifts on the fourth line, so 
He's a little bit ornery tonight, Dale Weeson. The second shift of the game here, he announces his presence on the leading goal scorer for the Detroit Red Wings, Thomas Tatar. Now Zetterberg lines up against Thomas Plakanitz. Tatar gets a little jumpy on the wing. Well, Alex Nelchenia. Enough that they'll do the draw all over again. And Dale Weiss with that run of, of offense that we're not used to seeing. And sometimes players need to be reminded what their role is. And what makes Dale Weiss effective is when he plays that hard physical game, just like he did right there on Tatar. Now Gallagher and Abdelkader want to sneak in early, and Thomas Placanitz will get tossed out. So Zetterberg will deal with Galchenyuk. Red Wings win it. Cronwall will fire it in. Off the glass again. You've got to watch the bounces off the glass here on the Joe. They'll take some weird hops on you. Now especially the end boards here. The Joe Lewis bounce, as they like to call it around the league. You never know. And the Red Wings defense like to miss the net on purpose. Here's Gallagher with a shot. That one's off the leg and wide. Erickson trying to roll it away. Comes to Zetterberg. He'll poke it up to the line. Kept in by Markov who throws it on net. And Howard will stand up to that. The Joe, one of the last remaining old school rinks in the National Hockey League. And supposed to have the new arena built in two to three years' time. But the atmosphere in here has always been fantastic. It's the franchise that I was drafted to in 1990. It brings back great memories being here in Joe Lewis. It's just one of those rinks that just has that, that special feeling about it. You look at the banners and the championships, the history, and these original six teams, it's just, they just have those great history, and it's, it's tough to, to compare the rest of the league to the original six teams because they just have that special something about them. And sometimes in the older buildings, you encounter issues with the glass of the boards, and that's exactly <laughs> the case right here as Dan O'Halloran yeah. brings the ice crew out that draws their attention to the problem that's behind the net behind Jimmy Howard. <laughs> that's one thing about these older rinks. Absolutely. You're going to have the issues like these. And looks like we got a problem with the glass now. And you can see right there, it's got the crack in it. So a new panel of glass will have to come out here. One of the things I remember the most about playing here in the Joe is how cramped the benches here are. And it's a, it, you have some tough changes here as when you're playing and, and, and you're on the visitor's bench. And you look at the players, you're very scrunched in on that bench, and especially the defense. They're down at the one end, and you'll sometimes you can get caught for too many men or, or get that little extra half second and not getting on for a shift on time because you can't go in and out of the door here because there's not enough space on the bench and it's it's just the dynamics of this rink and it and it makes uh, and look at the guys right now they're all crunched down there and i love playing here one of the things i didn't like though was there's no room on that bench now well, they're up to get the panel out and the new panel comes across the ice to get put in so the crew Hard at work. We got a new panel of glass put in here back in the what? Red Wing zone. So we'll step aside while the Speedy Glass crew is doing their job here in Detroit. You're watching Canadian Hockey on Sportsnet, presented by Rogers. Well, the Canadians have been one of the top teams in the NHL on the road. And you look at that 660 winning percentage. It's actually first in the National Hockey League. And surprising because the Canadians don't score a lot of goals on the road. Actually, 29th in road goals with 52 goals. And when you think of them being the top team as far as winning percentage, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. It just goes to show the value of Carey Price and how many games he has stolen for the Montreal Canadiens on the road this year. And a big reason why many people around the league are starting to talk about Carey Price in the Hart Trophy nomination category. And when you don't get the run support the goals on the road very difficult for Carey Price he's it's it's been such a special season for him so far and a big reason why I believe too that he should be in the conversation for the Hart Trophy and you look at this torrid run last 20 starts 16 3 and 1 that sparkling goals against average 
the 950 save percentage and a big reason why the Canadians now sit first place in the Eastern Conference. So Price lumbering up a little as the rest of the players went for a bit of a skate as well. They've got the glass fixed. And we'll get back to game action here where the Red Wings out shooting Montreal two to one. And usually long glass uh, break usually takes a little quicker than that. They're having some issues with the stanchions, I guess. Door closed, set to go. As Datsuk will square off against David Deyarme. And a scrum off the draw. It comes back for Danny to Kaiser. The Kaiser will play it out as Darren Helm deflects it in. Subban there to get it. Subban flips it back into the Red Wing zone. The Kaiser is on it. Being watched by Pacioretty, so he hands it off for Nyquist. Gustav Nyquist flips it in the Montreal bench and out of play. Gustav Nyquist is off to another great start this year. Led the Red Wings with 28 goals last season. And sometimes injuries can affect your team in different ways. And, and last year, Henrik Zanneberg and Pavel Datsik each missed 45 games. But what that did, it allowed Nyquist to get some valuable playing time. Puck lifted into the Canadian zone as Gilbert goes after it. Weiss trying to track him down. Brandon Pruss is there to deflect it out. Eller wanted to chip it by Marchenko, but couldn't get to it. Now Alexei Yemelin on it. Feeds it back for Gilbert. A cross for Yemelin. Tried to dump it in, but it'll come right back to him, and Gilbert is on it. Now deflected it. Smith. Moves it quickly with De La Rose on the attack. Riley Shan up with the puck and he'll lift it to the line. Knocked down by Evelyn. Let's say Evelyn. Buried it into the Detroit zone. Lars Heller going after it. He'll run into Marchenko. It comes Brandon Press to help out. Riley Shan trying to hold it under his skate. Press has got it. Brandon Press slides it back for Nathan Bollier. Over to Mike Weaver. Back for Bollier. Takes the shot. Tipped in front. Howard makes a stop and Smith has got it. And he'll clear it up. Weaver hustling back for it. Being tracked down by Drew Miller. Mike Weaver played it up on the boards. Galchenyuk will deflect it out. But now it's brought right back in by the Red Wings. Yepcho is on it. Fired a shot that missed. Chipped around the goal. Anderson being watched by Nathan Bolger. Anderson slides it off. That got broken up. Cromwell is there, but up and back in. Weaver tried to get in the way. Going around on the boards as Anderson will head it off. Tomas Shipto back to the net trying to get it in front. Swings it around. Weaver's there. That's tipped off his stick by Miller. Placanitz in to help out. Gallagher can't reach it. Thrown in front. It's off the skate of Galchenyuk. And the Canadians can't get it out, but they're going to have a little time. Here's the Red Wings turn for a change. Weaver with a slap pass ahead for Gallagher. He'll deflect it in as Quincy takes the hit from Galchenyuk. Broadwall weaving his way up ahead for Abdelkader. Down along the wing, tied up by Sumac. Benny Malhotra there to get it. And Malhotra will slide it up for Christian Thomas. He'll bank it into the Red Wings zone. Smith is back on it. We heard both of these teams talk about it before the game. They don't want to give the other team an inch. As Tatar comes in with a shot. That got deflected away by Markov. Zetterberg. Trying to play it up the board. Point of Al there. Got it to the line, but not out. Subban will hustle after it. Swiped it away from Tatar, and now it comes back for Markov, who will bounce it ahead to Thomas and deflecting it out. Darren Al lost it. Here's Point of Al coming in. Fan on it. Got it in front for the whole try. He couldn't get a shot. Puck flipped back in as Price will leave it for Gilbert. Day out of May. Trying to dig it free. Hatch already wanted to kick it out. Now it's taken away. Detsuk with a chance and he ripped it wide. Danny the Kaiser will keep it in. Broken up by Gilbert. Now Helm has got it. Darren Helm trying to spin away from Alexei Yemelin. Turned it over. Nyquist on the puck. Checked by Yemelin. Now played up into the feet of Pacioretty. Trying to knock it out, but it's held in along the boards by Erickson. Datsuk at the line. Little chip pass for Erickson, off to Helm, hit by Yemelin, Nyquist on net, stopped by Price, rebound in front, and the Red Wings still control it. Nyquist handing it off for Datsuk, Pavel Datsuk walks the line, he'll leave it, Erickson hangs on to the Kaiser, firing, and that's over the goal. 
Gatsu went to play it at the line for Erickson. He wasn't there on the boards, and the puck will come out. A great patience by Pavel Gatsu. He holds the puck, draws two Canadians to him. That opens up the point shot. Now to Kaiser, long pass, Riley Sheehan. Got by Weaver. Sheehan hands it off for Glendening, and it was too far. Riley Sheehan tied up back in the net. Comes out front, and it's tipped away. But Kenneth's trying to move it. Now Chen up there as well, and Cronwall will go after it. Brendan Smith off the wing, broken up, Galchenyuk is on. He'll tump it back in as Howard will stop it back to the net and leave it for Cronwall. Cronwall feeds it up for Glenn Denning, trying to get by for Kenneth. It's flipped into the Canadian zone, we were going after it, Stephen Weiss right in on him. Gallagher trying to tip it away, got it for Plakenitz, off the glass and knocked down at the point by Marchenko. Lars Eller up with a puck. Eller's going to curl back in his own zone and hang on to it. Lars Eller just one point in his past 16 games as he plays it up. Into the skates of Pruss. Pruss dropping. Superman fires. Blocker save made by Howard. Lars Eller on it again trying to move it. Take it to the Rose. In there to help out. It's in the skates of Brendan Smith. Now dug up by Marchenko. They'll play it back through Centerberg. Brandon Prust all over him. Prust knocks down Centerberg. Hands it off to the Rose. Ripped it off the outside of the net on the one-timer. And the puck gets cleared to the line and out as Tatar has got it. Look out. Brandon Prust and Lars Eller collide as Prust had to try and get out of the way with Eller coming at the last second. Zetterberg circling around with it. Plays it across. Cornwall trying to go to the net. Hooked up by P.K. Suman. He'll bring it around off the glass. Plus will settle it down. Feeds it across to Markov. Markov cuts in the middle. Takes the shot and that one missed. As Portoval got knocked down heading to the goal. Tangled up with Erickson. Now a centering pass. Malhotra shot blocked. It comes to Thomas. Over to Gilbert. Gilbert off to the boards with it. Sends it in deep. Portoval trying to play. Portoval up high. Malhotra shot steered away by the blocker. Of Jimmy Howard as Miller will get it off the glass. And out for Detroit. And the Red Wings scramble for a change. Gilbert slides it right back in. Howard will play it off. Pass up the middle is off the stick of Miller. Now he'll chase after the Canadian zone, but Yemelin rolled it around for Giller. Quickly up on the wing for Thomas. Malhotra deflects it into the Red Wings zone. The Canadians will change the lines. Kyle Quincy for Danny to Kaiser. To Kaiser to the line. Weaver stopped it. And it's cleared out by Naomi's. Anderson. Beats it across for Quincy, dumped in off the stick of Pacioretty as Nathan Bolger will go back to get it. Bolger off the middle to Dale Reese, chipped across and it's tipped in by Pacioretty. That's Pacioretty trying to take it away from Quincy and now rolled it around on the wing as Smith goes after it. Subban trying to pinch, puck is deflected out and Datsu is all over damn near in the Canadian zone. Subban trying to get it out, couldn't do it, Nyquist kept it and his shot is tipped wide by Subban. Pavel Batsu slides it to the line. Cronwall fired. That got blocked, and it's batted out of the air and cleared out of the Canadian zone. Well, great pace to this game so far. Both teams trading chances, and the speed level out there just incredible right now. Cronwall waiting behind the net. Being watched by Galchenyuk and Plakanis. Hands it across on the wing. Marchenko will get it out. Subek stops blending at the line. Gallagher tipped it away, and Plakanis finds it. Try to get it back up for Gallagher, but Cronwall ends up with the puck. Nicholas Cronwall off to Stephen Weiss. Weiss will throw it in the Canadian zone off the glass. Price is out of the net. And he'll play. Weiss knocked it down, though. He's standing in front of Galchenia. Thomas Placanitz lifts it the other way. Danny the Kaiser trying to hold it in. Gallagher wants to knock it free. No. Is brought out by Glendening. In front for Riley Shan. Tipped on it by Weiss. And it's cleared away. Weiss will throw it to the line. The Kaiser's up with it. Takes the shot right on. And Price has got it. And he'll take the whistle so everyone can have a little breather. Scoreless here in Detroit with Canadian Hockey on Sportsnet. Montreal Canadian Hockey on Sportsnet is presented by Rogers. 
Yeah, the Hockey Town Cafe and the Fox Theater here in Detroit, and you can join Club 1909 and collect points for just being a fan. Exchange them for money, can't buy products and experiences. Tonight's unique game code is SKATE. Log on to your club1909.com account in the next 15 minutes and earn five points by entering this code. Red Wings win the draw. Smith's drive is tipped wide. Justin Abdelkader is after it. Abdelkader hands it off for Tatar. Played it through the feet of Gilbert. Now goes back to the line. Kept in by Marchenko. He'll set it down low. Broken up by Alexei Yemelin. Yemelin up the wing. Marchenko held it in. Fires and that one's over the net. Zetterberg going after it. Henrik Zetterberg off for Tatar with a shot on the short side that got blocked. Yemelin can't get it by Zetterberg trying to clear it up the wards. Comes in front. Tatar's shot blocked again. And Prust will hand it off to Lars Eller. And Eller will take it for a skate. Off the wing to Prust. Held up by Smith. Tatar is on the puck. Tatar lost a handle on it at center and now is forced to send it back to Smith. And the Red Wings will regroup in their own zone. Smith hands it off for Erickson. Subban, one hand on the stick, broke it up at center. Now Subban will gain the Red Wing zone, try to get it over to Galchenyuk, and it hopped off his stick. Helm back up the ice, racing after it. Subban back on it, Katsuk in on him. Puck chipped up in the air, Gallagher will knock it down, played it across to Galchenyuk. Erickson there to watch him. Erickson after it, swiped it around to Cornwall. Gallagher gets his stick in the way once more, as Darren Helm will pick it up. Helm hands it across for Nyquist, feeds it up to Helm and alone. Great save made by Price as Darren Helm had an excellent opportunity for the game's opening goal. A beautiful save by Carey Price as Darren Helm dashed in there. And Helm, one of the fastest skaters in the National Hockey League. And here's the reason why. Watch him explode down the middle. Nyquist just lays it out there for him. Helm's able to skate into that puck. It's a quick little snapper, but look at Price. So calm in there, flashes the glove, makes the save, and more importantly, no rebound as well. Steven Weiss throws it on net, blockered away by Carey Price. And it Kaiser trying to chop it back to the goal. Now Riley Shane kept it free. Weiss after it in the corner, being watched by Evelyn. Played it back around the net. Shane, all tied up, day out of May. Hands the puck off for Yamelin, and it's cleared out by Pacioretty back into the Red Wing zone. Love the fans from both sides here into this one tonight. But let's go Red Wings and go Habs go chance going back and forth. And a ton of Montreal Canadian fans at the Joe tonight. Here's Weaver with it. Hands it back for Nathan Bullier. Bullier. Flipped it up ahead. Bonaval knocks it down. Try to feed it back for Weaver. It hopped over his skin and Nathan Bolia will come up with it. Bolia hopped the boards for Thomas. Stopped in center by Smith. Yemcho trying to move it again. It's deflected out. Anderson will pat it back in the Canadian zone. And now Montreal backs up with it. Played ahead. Miller got of the way of that one. Anderson checked by Malhotra. And Nathan Bolia is back on the puck. Bolia. Plays it off for Weaver. Pass broken up in the line by Tatar. Tatar trying to cut to the net and got stopped by Weaver. Elmo Holtra the other way. Playing it up ahead. Out of the reach of Bornaval. Bornaval hustling after it. Tied up with Erickson back of it and trying to kick the puck free. Justin Abdelkader is on it. Played it off the skin of Jacob De La Rose. Comes to Hendrik Zetterberg. And Zetterberg will float it into the Montreal air. Subban rolled it around to Markov. Up for Lars Heller, deflected off the glass over the head of Cronwall and out. And they'll call that on a hand pass against the Red Wings. I think I look at the save by Carey Price on Darren Helm. And this all starts way back in the Red Wings zone. Helm picks it up, puts it outside to Nyquist. And that pass is just put to an area because Nyquist knows the speed of his line by Darren Helm. And a real nice play by Nyquist, but a better save by Carey Price. Red Wings up with it off the draw. The Kaiser will fire it in. Price stopping it. Leaves it for Subban. Played around the glass. Hit for Kenneth as Nyquist tries to find it. Galchenyuk's there. Back for Subban. 
Handing it off to Andre Markov around the boards and Gallagher is here to flip it out. Galchenyuk's on it. Galchenyuk checks up, being watched by Quincy. Leaves it for Subban. P.K. Subban with a shot blocked by Howard. And he'll hang on to that one easily. That's the third time the Montreal Canadiens have now activated their defensemen. And with Subban, he's found a scene here. Second time tonight he's done that. And the Red Wings are such a hard back-checking team. They back-check to the house. But what this does, it opens up the seam to the point. Subban does a nice job. He gets covered at first, but a quick little toe drag to the outside and gets the puck towards the net. He's been the setup man over the past eight games where Subban has seven assists but hasn't scored in ten. But he's done a lot of other good things for the Canadians. On the defensive side of the puck, and as mentioned, setting up some of the goals. Here's Shan, tied up by Pacioretty. Pacioretty knocks it free, lifts it in the air, and it'll skip back to the Red Wings end, where Cromwell is on it. Pass up ahead. Pacioretty broke it up. Gallagher, or check that down. He's in with a shot, and it's blocked by Howard. He'll hold on, as he saw that one coming all the way. The Canadian's doing a nice job in the neutral zone. And that is the key to Montreal's system. They're very similar to Detroit. They try and force turnovers. Look at Deherné. He's out in the neutral zone. He gets this puck as Pacioretty slides it over to him. I like the fact that Deherné shoots the puck. You're right in the middle of the ice. He's a pass first guy normally, but realizes he's got an opportunity to shoot the puck and does it. Unfortunately, he does not get the rebound. Jimmy Howard covers up for the whistle. Dela Rose wins the draw. Subban up with it. Trying to spin away from Quincy. Suman with a shot tipped in front. It goes wide. Eight seconds left in the period. And Smith will get it off the glass and out. Markov knocked it down. And he'll play it right back in. It goes wide of the net. And that'll do it for period number one. And a great pace to the opening 20. A very entertaining first period. Red Wings get out shot 7-6 by the Canadians. But pretty even period on all accounts for both teams. Scoreless after 20 here at Joe Lewis Arena in Detroit as we send it back to Chantel Desjardins. Welcome back inside Joe Lewis Arena. A great statue of Ted Lindsay, and he's in the building tonight signing autographs and uh, copies of his book. The fans getting a chance to meet terrible Ted. Although when you meet him, he's not that terrible. He's actually quite a nice gentleman. <laughs> uh, terrible Ted, one of the nicest guys. I remember him used to hang around the Detroit locker room. First period. And Two great face-off teams. Surprisingly, the Canadians dominated in the first period. 11-3 in the draws. Canadians blocking shots. The Red Wings aren't a big shot-blocking team, but a pretty even period. One thing I did notice is the Canadians are getting opportunities, and when they're getting them, it's from their defensemen. The Red Wings like to collapse down low, and the, this allows Montreal's defense time to shoot the puck and time to join the rush. Subban did it twice. Markov jumped up. Montreal had seven shots in that first period. Four of them came from the defenseman. Subban led all Canadians with two shots on goal. We talked about P.K. Subban's ice time before the game. Set a record for 35 plus minutes Saturday night in Montreal tonight. 8.14 so far, so he's on pace for just under 25 minutes tonight. And I'm sure as this game goes on, P.K. Subban's ice time will increase. And here we go with period number two as Thomas Blacanitz will line up against Hendrik Zetterberg. There's Gallagher and Abdelkader trying to jump in early on the wing. So Justin St. Pierre will come out and have a word with him. Now it's dropped to the Red Wings are on it. Cronwall over skates and Gallagher has got it. Gallagher fires and it's off the arm of Howard. Galchenyuk in front for Gallagher, trying to roll it back to the net, and Howard comes up with a stop. Exactly the start the Canadians wanted for this second period. Brendan Gallagher is just going to pounce on this loose puck. He's coming in the forecheck, and that's to Kaiser. Just mishandles the puck. Gallagher picks it up and just fires that shot at Jimmy Howard, and then gets a second chance. And Brendan Gallagher always just seems to be around that front of the net. Dearne won the draw, Suman at the line, throwing it towards an end. Howard made the save, and Quincy swiped it away. Dearne back in front for Pacioretty, can't reach it. Now he'll swipe it back for Suman, and the Canadians reset. Markov 
Up off the glass, broken up at center. Nyquist will carry it in for Datsuk. Left it for Helm, back to Datsuk. Waiting, trying a shot. Dump block, Nell gets it on hit. Place to save and a penalty coming up to Montreal. It'll be a hooking call. That will send the Red Wings to the power play as Markov will go to the box. Markov's going to go for a hooking penalty here. But just before that, Montreal gets a chance, and it comes off a faceoff. David DeHarnay wins the draw, and he had a tough time in the first period. Only one for five on his draws. He wins that one. The very next shift, there's the hook. Datsuk gets body position on Andre Markov. Gets a little closer than that, and Markov reaches out and hooks Datsuk before he can get a good shot off. He's so slippery, Pavel gets Datsuk. You have to really concentrate and get inside position on him every time he's on the ice. Suman up with it, he'll fire it around the glass, it'll get all the way out, and then Prust helps it down the ice and takes Cronwall into the end boards. Brandon Prust trying to hold it. Weiss comes in to dig it away. Now Manny Milholtra hustles after it, but he backs off. He sees Prust is going to be there, and he kept Cronwall deep, and now goes for the change. Good work by Brandon Prust down low to hold it in the Red Wing zone. That's what you want to do if you're Montreal. You're playing the best power play. Make them spend as much time on their breakout as possible. Zetterberg dumped it in. Price got it off the boards, and Carey Price will clear it himself. Uh, it always helps when you have one of the best puck handling goaltenders in the NHL. Great clear right there by Price. De Kaiser poked it up for Helm. Aaron Helm going after it. Wrapped it around the boards. Nobody there in a red sweater. Puck gets held up, but it'll come to Pacioretty, and he'll get it down the ice. Canadians change up the penalty killers again. Over a minute gone in the Detroit power play. Pavel Datsu gains his own. Left it. Riley Shane back in front and it's taken away. Shane on it again. Trying to center it for Datsu, but that got tipped. And now it is cleared by Prust. And the Canadians get it out again. That was a real nice job by Tom Gilbert in front of the net. Eliminating the stick of, I believe, Shea, and that was a close opportunity. Tatar hands it back across for Datsu. Tatar brings it in at the line, but the Red Wings are called for an offside. And the Canadians doing a good job on this penalty kill. And right here, the lively boards makes this puck bounce right to Carey Price. And Price knows the bounce on the boards. Great clear by Price. And Datsu, great pass to enter the zone. The Canadians collapse to the middle. Press first is there, and then Gilbert just lifts the stick, and it's actually Datsuk there, and Tom Gilbert being aware of who the most dangerous player is on the ice, Pavel Datsuk. Cronwall played it up ahead. Setterberg will lift it in. Nyquist trying to move it. Suman up with a puck. Gimbelin around the boards. Lars Heller wanted to deflect it. It was off the skate of Erickson. Zetterberg can't pull the trigger on the slot as Jacob De La Rose will get it down the ice. Oh, the young 19-year-old De La Rose. Real strong on his stick. Another good defensive play on the penalty kill. Markov out of the box. The Detroit power play is over. And now Markov has got it. And he'll feed it back for Subban. Over to Yellow. And Canadian stuck with three defense out there right now as Markov mixes it up with Abdelkader. Here comes Yellow in on the wing with a shot. And it's blocked away by Howard. Came off the glass and bounced in the crease and nearly bounced off the leg of Howard and in. He had to be careful with that one. Now the other way, Drew Miller to the net, stopped by Price, Yipcho following up with the play, and it hits Yipcho up in the face, and comes back to Price, and he's shaking up. A couple opportunities, but a big reason why Michel Therrien likes to play at Jacob De La Rose is because he's responsible defensively. Look at him helping his defenseman. Subban's down, Zetterberg's getting an opportunity, but the De La Rose gets the stick in there. And here's the lively bounce off the boards here. Jimmy Howard has no idea where this puck is. Pops it to the front of the net. He's swimming around trying to locate, and the Canadians almost had a nice opportunity there. It went off the back of his foot and started to roll towards the net. That was a close one. There's Galchenyuk with it. Drops it off down low. Nathan Bolia hustles in for the point to get to it. It's tied up on the play by Riley Shan, and now it comes for his Brendan Smith is up with it. Smith will hand it across, and it's fired in by Quincy, steered off the glass by Price. Lukanitz will lift it high in the air, and it'll skip out. Galchenyuk tipped it over to Gallagher. 
Delchenyuk then gets caught up at the blue line and gets caught for the outside. Alex Delchenyuk and Brandon Gallagher have been together now for the last four or five games, along with Thomas Placanix. This line is really starting to find some chemistry in Gallagher with the big goal in Montreal. The only goal in regulation for the Canadians. A nice stick off the Thomas Placanix shot helped the Montreal Canadiens beat those Toronto Maple Leafs 2-1 Saturday night. Jonathan Erickson played it up ahead as Nyquist will tuck it in. Price moved it around for Dale Weiss, hopped over his stick and back out at center. Danny the Kaiser is on it. The Kaiser played it up for Datsuk, hopped over his stick. Subban trying to move it, broken up by Darren Helm. Helm will flip it into the corner. Markov trying to swipe it away. Poked along the board, up onto the wing, and Pacioretty's there to knock it out. The Kaiser back up with it for Detroit. Dale Weiss will watch from the top of the crease as Howard stepped out on it. Now Zetterberg trying a little bounce pass up for Datsuk. Subban, though, doesn't bite. Now trying to knock it away from Datsuk. Dale Weiss in to help out. And it rolls back to Brendan Smith. He'll feed it across to Marchenko. Now brought back in. Here's Abdul Kader dropping it off. Marchenko to Abdul Kader rolling it down low. Zetterberg on it, centered in front. And the shot was blocked as Tatar got a chance. Smith up with it, throws it towards it, and knocked down in front of the goal by Andre Markov. And the Canadians will clear it all the way down the ice, and they'll get called for icing. That's some good defensive hockey by the Canadians. And P.K. Subban, he's not the tallest of defense, but only about six feet, but he's about 216 pounds, and he's an extremely strong individual. Watch him on the boards right here against Datsuk. He's got a real strong stick, just uses his leverage, gets nice and low, out battles Datsuk and makes sure the puck gets out of Montreal zone. Here's Ripchuk, rolling it wide, and it's picked up by Markov. Round on the boards, Lars Eller trying to get to it at the line. Anderson with a shot off the stick handle of Price. Subban knocks it back to Markov. Anderson in on the attack, but it's Subban that'll feed it over to Lars Eller. Eller finds a little room. It's held up by Marchenko, but he'll dump it in. It's slowed down back in the net by Howard. Brandon Preston Smith collide. Brendan Smith up on the wing. Drew Miller broke it up. Punched after it again. But it's Smith that'll move it around to Drew Miller, tied up by Lars Heller. Jacob to the Rose buzzing around looking for the loose puck. Heller trying to move it, kicked it free, comes back to Marchenko, and he'll hand it across at the line as De La Rose chopped at it. Prust got it back for Jacob to the Rose, flipping it in front to Prust. Nearly got a piece of that, knocking it out of the air. Anderson to Marchenko, pressured by Bornaval, who hopped off the bench for Montreal, and he'll send it back in deep. Howard out of the net, wants to play, got it around the wing, picked up by Thomas. Thomas with a shot, and that missed on the short side. Bornaval was parked in front. Nathan Bollier, back for Bornaval. Trying to take it away from Brendan Smith. Puck is chipped out, and the Red Wings will send it in. Mike Weaver, up for Bornaval, missed the pass down the ice, and the Canadians get called for icing. This week on Scotiabank Wednesday Night Hockey, it's a doubleheader and it all starts with the Canadians taking on the Senators of the nation's capital at 6.30, followed by the Bruins and the Oilers at 9.30 on Sportsnet. Manny Moholtra lines up but lost the drop to Sam, dropped to the line by Erickson's wide, skips at the net, and it's knocked away by Moholtra. Chan will play it off for Luke Glendening. Glendening pokes it back to the net. Weiss trying to get away from Bullier. Stephen Weiss feeds the line. Cromwell fakes the shot, skates it in, now shoots. Blocked by Price, puck comes free. Born of Al can't clear it out. Erickson's right on it. Now knocked up the wing. Stephen Weiss got a piece of it. Back down for Bullier. Sends it around to Weaver. Mike Weaver takes the hit from Glendening, got it up the boards. Thomas trying to knock it away, Glendening back on it, hands it off. Quick shot, place a save, and the puck comes free at the line. The Red Wings are buzzing now as Datsuk will lift it in, but it's taken away by Bollier. He'll hand it off for Weaver. The Canadians get it out. They're scrambling to get a change. They've been stuck out there for a while, and the defense can't get off. 
Here comes Helm. Left it for Dancer. Now back to Karen Helm. Helm circles around, looks for an open pass, goes to the line. Quincy a shot club by Price. He'll hold on, and Montreal will finally get that line change they were looking for. Scoreless in Detroit with Canadians Hockey on Sportsman. Gary Price, one of the bigger goaltenders at six foot three. And sometimes that size helps you. The Red Wings are buzzing here in the Canadian zone, and Cromwell with a little puck fake. He's going to throw this puck towards the net. Price is down on the butterfly. Because he's a big guy, that shot just hits him right at the top of the head. A little give and go. And this one's going to go right off the shoulder of Carey Price. You see when he's down on that butterfly? He still makes himself big in the net. He's got a very long torso, so when he's down on that butterfly, he still covers the top portions of the net. And that was a tough shoulder save right there. It didn't look like much when we first saw it. When you watch that replay, a pretty tough save for Carey Price. Detroit out shooting Montreal 12-11. Now Thomas Placanitz will square off against Tatar. Tatar won it. Quincy at the line. Fires redirected towards it. And Price had to track that one. Quincy at the line. Tipping it by Galchenyuk. Comes to Tatar. Through, through the feet of Gallagher. Over to Abdelkader with a shot blocked. As Zetterberg is back on it. Henrik Zetterberg to the line. Fired by DeKaiser. Stopped by Price. And Placanitz will get the rebound. He lifted it off the boards and out. The Red, Wings again, goes after it. Red Wings again getting that, that point shot. And look at Ab Abelkader right in front of the net. Gallagher carries it in. Got knocked down, but the puck gets cleared out. Now it's brought up ice. Nyquist will hand it off for Helm. Darren Helm tried to go back for Nyquist. Then tried a little drop pass to center in front. It's off the back of the net as Markov worked it around the boards. Erickson holds it in. Nyquist trying to hold on to it. Falls down. Now Chenyuk will chop it away. And the puck comes out. Pavel Datsu played it across for Nicholas Cronwall, and Cronwall will lift it back in. Swung around the boards by Darren Helm. Broken up by Markov, and Markov to the line. Gets it off the leg of Erickson. Suman will hustle after it. Goes to dump it in the Red Wing zone, and the Canadians will get the change. Cronwall swings it around for Erickson. Now up for Datsu. Played in deep. Riley Sham going after it. Sham taken into the boards by Kilmer. As Yemelin will follow up on the play. Alexei Yemelin hands it off for Dan May. That gets lifted in. Smith is on it. Brendan Smith. Starts back up for Detroit. Turn it over to Brandon Prust. Prust streaking into the net. And he's stopped by Howard. Couldn't get a shot away. Prost has got it again, throwing it in front. Tipped it, Howard will find it and hold on on the Red Wings goal crease. Great opportunity for Brandon Prest on a partial breakaway. Before that, the Red Wings. And this is the scouting report. If you're the Red Wings, you know you're not going to score on Carey Price unless you get traffic in front of it. Look at Applicator. He's right in the grill at Carey Price. Price isn't able to see that, but somehow makes the save. And then Smith turns this over. Trust is off to the races. Smith does a nice job of not taking a penalty and just distracting Brandon Prest enough so he doesn't get a shot off. Scramble off the draw. Thomas bats it on that stop by Howard. Point of Al trying to move it. Lost it. Red Wings back on it. And it's played up the middle by Anderson. And back in on the wing. Here comes Miller. Goes crashing in the end boards with Alexei Yemelin. As Benny Malhotra will lift it out. Thomas knocked it down. Got it ahead to Bornaval. Bornaval doesn't have the puck on the stick when he goes for the shot. Now Thomas follows up with it. Christian Thomas back for Nathan Bolger. Bolger walks the line. Throws it towards an end. And it's knocked down by Miller. He had Bornaval parked in front, trying to cause a little traffic. Bornaval has now recorded a point in his past 14 games. There's Maholtra, up for Bolia, trying to spring Brandon Prouts through center. That one ends up down the ice, and will be an icing call against Montreal. Montreal Canadiens, fourth line, doing some great work down the offensive zone, and right off the draw, it's a tie draw. But look at Thomas fight through, and he will not be denied. Gets an opportunity from sheer hard work. And then look at the puck protection. 
Thomas again, he's not a big guy, 5'9", but because of his, his skating ability, he gets low, protects the puck. He's able to get that puck back to the point and create a scoring chance. An excellent shift by Christian Thomas. Malholtra won the draw and it comes right back to Price and he's forced to cover it up and hold on. Pass the midway mark of the second and still a scoreless game in Detroit on Sportsnet. Carey Price once again tonight has been excellent in the second pair of the Red Wings starting to pick up the pace out shooting the Canadians 8-5 so far in this second period and Price has had to have some tough saves here the breakaway to Helm and then they're doing a nice job of getting to the net but Price is able to see through some of those screens he's calm he's composed and he's made some nice plays with the pucks as well because this Joe Louis Arena as I mentioned has the very lively boards and goaltenders have to be very careful when playing pucks here Here's Smith with a shot that's blocked by Brandon Prust and it'll end up back in the Red Wing zone. Marchenko is on it. Takes the hit from Prust. Zetterberg has to escape Eller. Played it back. Now Marchenko got it ahead. Nifty move by Tatar to find a little room on the wing. Leaves it on the boards for Abdelkader. He's hit by Villa Rose and Subban is there to clear it out. It'll skip down the ice and Cromwell is back after it. Zetterberg picks it up for Detroit. Trying to move it up the middle. That got knocked down by Thomas Plakanitz. Now Abdelkader will fire right on net. Stopped by Price and he'll hand it off to Markov. Elchenyuk played it down the ice. Howard out of the net will hand it off for Cronwall. Flipped up in the air. Gallagher got a piece of it. That'll come out. And circling around with it is Alex Galchenyuk. Pressured on the play by Natsu. Red Wings bring it in, but Tatsuk was tied up with Gilbert, and they go into the zone early, so it's an offside against Detroit. I think Tom Gilbert came awfully close to getting an interference penalty, but a good play by Gilbert. Because that would have been an outnumbered rush for the Red Wings, and I think he's having words with the officials. And it's a turnover by Galchenyuk, and look at the Red Wings pounce. And Gilbert is able to get back in the play and just gets tied up enough with Pavel Datsuk at the same time doesn't take a penalty but that was borderline but still a good job by Gilbert breaking up that play well, I think the reaction from Gilbert he thought maybe it was that soup that should have had the interference call <laughs> for being in his way <laughs> you gotta sell your case any any way you can here's Dan with it back to the line for Yemelin with a shot that got blocked by Glenn Denny. Christian Thomas trying to move it Dan in there to help out but it's deflected up the boards Yemelin at the line threw it back towards the net Kyle Quincy got out of the way Max Pacioretty after it that's broken up, and the Red Wings are on it. Pacioretty had seven shots Saturday night against the Leafs. Here's Gilbert trying to move it away from Glendenny. Up onto the boards. Thomas is there, and he'll lift it out. Skips back to the Red Wings line. Marchenko will move it across for Cronwall. Now back to Marchenko. Up the middle. Tipped at the line, Yellen stopped the deflection by Anderson, so now he'll fire it in as Price will leave it for Gilbert. Michelle Terran rewarding Christian Thomas with a shift on the top line. Lars Heller kicks it over to Brandon Price, still dumping it in. Jacob to the Rose going after it as he runs into Anderson. Puck brought back out. Lars Heller is there and he'll fire it back into the Red Wing zone as Howard will leave it. Cronwall played it around the wing, now gets it back. Nicholas Cronwall being watched by Lars Zeller. There's Howard again out to the top of his crease to try and distract Eller. Anderson tipped it by Weaver. Place out of the net. Played up the boards. Weaver fell, didn't get to it, but Brandon Prest is there, and he's found the puck as he moves it over to Nathan Bolia. Bolia in on the wing with a shot, and it's right on, and Howard saw it all the way. And now Bolia draws the attention of Erickson back in the net, and this will draw a bit of a crowd. Nathan Beaulieu getting involved physically after the whistle once again. Canadians doing a good job in their own zone. And Jacob Delarose has slowly been earning the trust of Michelle Therrien. Little plays like this, finishing your hits, getting in there on the forecheck, and the back check there breaks up the play, which allows Pruss to get that puck and start the transition game. It's going to end up with a Beaulieu shot on goal, all because of the good back check from Jacob Delarose, it's little things like that that coaches love 
to see their young players do. And De La Rose is quickly becoming a go-to guy for Michelle Therrien. And now they've got to fix a little patch of ice back behind the Red Wings net. A little rut along the boards that is being patched up by Scott Driscoll. And Shandor Alfonso as the linesman double up as the ice crew here. And Joe Lewis always one of the better rinks, at least I found, for ice conditions. You always hear about Edmonton having some of the better, best ice in the league, and Montreal's always had great, great ice as well. Blakanitz will line up against Centerburg. Blakanitz won the draw. Markov fires off the blocker of Howard. Gotchenyuk trying to go to the net. Can't tuck it in and bumps into Howard. Knocked him down. Lost his helmet in the process. Gotchenyuk throws it in front. Picked off by Zetterberg. As Quincy and Gallagher fight back behind the play. And the two of them are going to go to the box. And Gallagher and Quincy getting tied up. And Quincy complaining that he was hit in the face with a Gallagher stick as Gallagher went down. But they're both going to go here. And... Gallagher not happy with the call. And right before that play, the Canadians had a, a good, another good chance of a faceoff. Placanix wins the draw. Markov lets the shot go again. It bounces out. Galchenyuk with a chance to threaten. Quincy knocks off the helmet of Galchenyuk, but the play goes on. And there's Quincy and Gallagher getting into it. The shove by Quincy's original penalty, and Gallagher's stick comes up again, I think. That's why Gallagher's going as well. And you saw Brendan Gallagher arguing that he didn't do anything on the play, and Mick Quincy got away with another one as well as he shoved the uh, helmet of Galchenyuk off as he went to the net. So a little four-on-four -four hockey. So it's a rough and call to Kyle Quincy and a high stick against Brendan Gallagher. Oh, open ice out there. Pacioretty is on it. Dropped it off back for Dale May. Tied up with Erickson. Comes out front. Tried to tuck it in. It was stopped by Howard. David Deharnay actually using his size to his advantage against the bigger Erickson. On the attack again, but got caught up with Pavel Datsuk. Erickson hands it off for Datsuk. Helm in on the rush, will chase it down. Subban goes after Helm in the corner. Darren Helm comes out with it. Helm, Erickson in front. Price diving across, knocked it away, and it's still loose. Erickson's on it again. He'll hand it off to Helm, firing, stopped by Price. Markov has got it. Markov lost it to Datsuk, and Price got his paddle down and blocked the pass in front. Cromwell to Datsuk, waiting, can't shoot. Cromwell does, hit the leg of Markov in front, and the Canadians are on it as they out of May with Helm and Markov chopping at each other behind the play. P.K. Subban with it. Subban hanging on, has a look around. Now backs off with it. Subban will skate it out at center and give it off to Yemelik. Then heads off for the change. Jacob to the Rose. Back for Alexei Yemelik. Flipped it up ahead and it got by to the Rose as Smith is back on it. 37 seconds to go in the ball for hockey. Here comes Abdelkader. Justin Abdelkader cuts around Yemelin. Abdelkader on the puck, feeds the line, and a drive tipped in front by Zetterberg. Price a save, and then plays it out from his knees to center. To Kaiser, to Smith. Hey, can we play the rest of the game? Four on four? <laughs> Price doesn't want to have any whistles here. Here's Zetterberg with it. Trying to get away from Yemelin. And Rick Zetterberg. Shaking off Alexei Yellowland to Applecater. Sliding it back to Smith. Hold it to the Kaiser. Danny to Kaiser to flex it down low. Yellowland got it away of that pass. And out of the box is Gallagher and Quincy. Applecater feeds it off for Zetterberg. Henrik Zetterberg dropped it back on it, but it's picked up by Galchenyuk. And the Canadians start back up ice. Galchenyuk for Gallagher. Held up with the boards on the check by Marchenko. Tipped away as the Red Wings are on it. Three on two. Riley Sham trying to slide it over to Nyquist. Tipped in deep. Thomas Tatar going after it. Tatar on the puck. Trying to center. Blocked by Sudan. Markov trying to play it. Nyquist got it away. Now it's back for Tatar again. Wanted to play it for Nyquist. That got broken up. Riley Sham has got it. 
trying to spin away from Eller, and now we've got some more penalties here. End to end action, but still no goals on the board as we take a break with Carey Price. Outstanding once again for Montreal. David DeHarnay has been playing some of his best hockey of the season. First star Saturday night against the Toronto Maple Leafs, but it's the little things like winning battles. He's five foot seven, Jonathan Erickson six foot four, but he gets in there, wins the battle, and there's no quit in his game. And how about Carey Price? Great toe save, makes the save, plays the puck to boot. And just last shift, here's the penalty to Markov. He comes down with the cross check. Nyquist doesn't like it. Up ends Markov. Both Markov and Nyquist head to the box. The cross check and the trip and back to the floor for hockey as Gilbert is on it and he'll play it ahead for Thomas Placanitz. Gaining the Red Wings line, throws it on net. Howard steered to the side. Patch ready. Back along the boards. Handing it up for Thomas Placanitz. But it's Darren Helm that'll come up with the puck. Feeds it back over to Danny DeKaiser. And DeKaiser throws it back on Ed Howard had to make a stop there and he'll hand it off for Quincy. A shot on goal for Danny DeKaiser. Quincy spinning around with it. Now gives it back to Darren Helm. Helm will start up ice. Cuts through the middle. Cut by Eller. Darren Helm trying to find his way to the net. Tipped away by Evelyn. Patch ready over skates him and then knocks it back for Gilbert. He'll hand it off for Alexei Evelyn. Eller curls back with it. Now he's got it. Lars Eller into the Red Wing zone. Throws it on net. Stopped by Howard. Gets his own rebound and chipped it around to the corner. But Cronwall will play it back for Erickson. Eller right on him. Throw it out front. Subban's got it. Tees it up. Tip. Howard the save. Lose puck. And Jimmy Howard's got it under his pad. Terry Price has been. They're busier than the two goalies this period, but it's Jimmy Howard who makes a nice save here to keep this a 0-0 hockey game. Puck comes back to the point. Some good work. Eller on the forecheck. He's hard with the stick, and Erickson puts it right on the tape of Subban. That's like a half shot, half pass as Subban is putting that puck into an area where he thinks he can get a tip. The shooting lane's not there, so look at him. He's actually shooting for the stick of Brendan Gallagher. It's a set play that Gallagher and Subban love to run, and Gallagher just misses tipping that puck by Jimmy Howard. 48 seconds to go in the four-on-four four hockey. Red Wings win the draw. Danny DeKaiser up with it. DeKaiser slides it across. Little room. Quincy fires off the arm of Price and over the glass and out of play. A hot shot off the stick of Kyle Quincy. That one's got a sting. I think Price took that one right off the shoulder. That's about the fourth high shot he's had to contend with tonight. And Quincy just steps into that. And look at that one. This is going to go right off the arm, top of the shoulder of Price. And those are ones that leave a mark. And Price stands tall and makes his 18th save of the night. Kyle Quincy. Up with it for the Red Wings, being watched by Plukanic, threw it towards the net. Nathan Bullock out of the way, and a penalty coming up here. This will go to Detroit. Riley Shane will get the call. Galchenyuk up with it. Price heads to the bench. And Bullock will give the puck away here and take the power play because they'll want the 20 seconds of four on three. What a, what a smart play by Nathan Bullock to realize the time on the clock and like you mentioned Johnny the 20 seconds and here's the penalty right here and it's it's Bull you that draws it blocks the shot and then keeps body position and when he keeps that body position it makes Shane reach around and try and hook him and I love the play too the gnome is 20 seconds because it's much better to have a four on three than a five on four more more ice out there to work with Dernay scrubbed off the draw. Pacioretty got it for Subban. P.K. Subban, the Pacioretty sends it off to Dernay. He'll circle back up high with it. David Dernay moves it over to Pacioretty, back across for Dernay, handing it off to Subban. Subban up with it to Dernay, waiting with it. Hangs on, Subban's got it, fires, stopped by Howard. Markov out of the box along with Nyquist. Stone in front, Pacioretty's shot is blocked. Subban will settle it down. 
And rolling puck nearly lost it. Got it to Pacioretty, though. Max Pacioretty feeds it back for Suman. To Markov, he'll fire. Tipped on Dan Howard to save. He's got it as Gallagher gets pulled away from the Red Wings goal crease by Erickson. The Red Wings know that Subban loves to shoot that puck on the power play. He's the trigger man. He leads the Canadians with six power play goals. Pacioretty gets it back to Subban. He quickly puts it over to Markov. And Markov wastes no time one-timing that puck. Gallagher's in front to provide the traffic and the screen. And this is when the Canadians' power play is most dangerous, when it's not just P.K. Subban shooting the puck. Markov's brought a great shot when he uses it. Sent around for Drew Miller. He'll get it off the glass and down the ice. Comes to Carey Price. Price plays it ahead for Suman. Tip pass. Alex Galchenyuk is on it. Left it for Markov. Andre Markov flips it in. Galchenyuk going after it. Backs it back around the net. Heller in there trying to play it. Swung around the board. Suman is on it. Banning it off for Thomas Buchanan. Now down low. Galchenyuk. For Plakenitz looking towards the net. He'll hang on to it. Throws it on goal. Howard the stop. Suman back to get it. He'll keep it in. P.K. Suman across to Markov. That's it down to Thomas Plakenitz. Suman sneaking in again. Here's Galchenyuk trying to go to Suman. Tipped away by the stick of Howard. Off the glass. Hit the upright. Stays in. Throw it on net. Howard stops it. And he'll cover it up on the side of the goal. And again, a shoving match will ensue. Red Wings are doing a great job of making sure the Canadians can't tee up those big slap shots. So what you have to do as a defenseman, just find a lane and get the puck towards the net. Andre Markov does just that. And the Canadians try to work it down low. They're able to keep this puck it's in. It's Markov that keeps it in. He sees Galchenyuk in front and just throws that puck towards the net because you never know where this is going to bounce out to. And Howard at first can't corral the rebound but ends up covering it up for the whistle. Pacioretty pokes it forward for Brendan Gallagher, and it was covered up by Howard once more. Good awareness by Jimmy Howard. That's Gallagher. All goaltenders around the NHL know that if there's a loose puck and it's near the blue paint, Gallagher's getting there. Canadian's on it again. Subban fakes the shot, then falls, lost, and it comes out. Markov diving for it, but it's a breakaway. One minute to the net. And Pacioretty on the back check forces Glenn Denning wide. He never got the shot away. Glenn Denning had about four strides on Pacioretty. What a defensive effort by Max Pacioretty. And now the Canadians ice the puck with 8.8 seconds to go in the period of two seconds left in their power play. A close call for the Canadians as Pacioretty a little gassed after that play. It comes back to Suda on the point. He tries to sell the shot, which he does. Just loses the puck and loses an edge. And off to the races goes to turn. Look at the long reach of Max Pacioretty. Extends the stick. And he's just going to, it's actually Glenn Denning. And he's just going to disrupt him enough to make sure he doesn't get a good opportunity on Carey Price. But an excellent defensive play by Montreal's leading goal scorer, Max Pacioretty. And now... Manny Moholtro will take the draw against Pavel Datsun. And off the draw, Red Wings win it. Erickson fires, that got deflected wide. Moholtro trying to cover it up, it'll come to Dernay. He'll get it out and the period comes to a close. Two fantastic periods of hockey, great pace, great speed. Good opportunities for both teams, but still scoreless after two. The shots in the second period, 14 to 12, favoring the Canadians, 21-18 Montreal after 40, but still no goals at the Joe as we send it back to Chantal Desjardins. Montreal Canadiens Hockey on Sportsnet is presented by Rogers. Back in the Motor City, across the river from Windsor. And it's still scoreless after 40 minutes of play with the Red Wings and Canadians here in Detroit tonight. But it's not for lack of effort, but maybe some great defensive plays on both sides of the puck that we still have not seen a goal, Jason. A uh, big reason why it's a 0-0 game is because of the Canadians' forwards. 
They've been great on the back check, in particular Jacob De La Rose. Look at him hustle back and break up plays. And then Max Pacioretty saves almost a goal there by Glenn Denning, hustling back. And that's a big reason why Max Pacioretty is tied for tops in the NHL with plus minus. Pacioretty currently a plus 27 to lead the National Hockey League. And Carey Price, he's been excellent tonight. The Red Wings haven't been able to solve him, but the big thing that's impressed me is his ability once again to play the puck. The Red Wings are quick, but they can't get on the forecheck nearly enough because Price, not only is he making the saves, he's starting the breakouts as well. And how about this? Has the ability and the confidence. A little saucer pass over the Detroit Red Wings forechecker. Who has the nerve to try a saucer pass? Well, Carey Price does, and he's been brilliant playing the puck once again this evening. So here we go with period number three. As the Canadians win the draw, Markov is on it. He'll fire the long one in on Howard, kicks it away. Jonathan Erickson after it. Galchenyuk knocked it free. Gallagher will throw it up high. Subban spins on net. Howard the save. And Zetterberg got Gallagher tied up, didn't allow him to get a shot. Justin Abdelkader. Off for Erickson. Tied up by Galchenyuk and Cronwall. We'll move it ahead for Zetterberg, lifted high in the air, and that one will end up out of play. Henrik Zetterberg's been relatively quiet this evening. Pretty quick pace game, and Zetterberg is more of that change of pace type player. He's able to find time and space, create time and space with the puck by slowing things down when he gets the neutral zone. But for me, Pavel Datsyuk has been the best player on the ice tonight for the Red Wings. Maybe to Kaiser will send it in on Price. Hands it off as Gilbert tried to move it up the boards. Helm got in the way. Darren Helm back for Nyquist. Looks out front. Rolled it towards the net. Off the pad of Price and it's swiped to the corner. Kyle Quincy up with it. Tied up by Dearnay. Now throws it on net. Price stopped and knocked out of the air by Nyquist. Nyquist. Trying to get away from Gilbert to the line. Fired wide of the net by Danny to Kaiser. Chopped in front. Gilbert is on it. And Gilbert will get it out as that puck ends up all the way down the ice and will be an icing call against Montreal. Now 0 0 here in the third period. And not surprising when you have two of the best defensive teams in the National Hockey League. The Canadians currently first place with goals per game when you look at the 2.22 in the Red Wings not far behind at sixth place at sixth place and big reason why the, both the Canadians and the Red Wings are having excellent seasons and the game has gotten faster there's more skill but to win in this league you still have to be a good defensive hockey team and both the Canadians and Habs are just that Smith will dump it in Weiss going after it hands it off Shane Slides it over, Marchenko to Smith, he'll throw it wide, bounced off the boards, Weiss trying to get to it, and he'll feed it back to the line. Marchenko shoots off the stick, and that one missed. David Dearnay will swoop in and get it. Takes a hit, but got it out. And Smith is back on it in the Red Wing zone. Marchenko up ahead for Riley Shale. Held up by Alexei Yemelin. And P.K. Suman is there to get it out. That goes off the skate of Erickson back of the Detroit line. Now he's got it. And he played it over to Conwall. Up ahead for Riley Sham. Sham trying to work his way in the zone and does. Can't pull the trigger on a shot, though, and he'll dump it in. Yep, sure. Tangle up with Markov. Now he's got it back. Throws it up high for Anderson. It's tipped away and down the ice. And Howard will come out of the net. And handed off for Jonathan Erickson. Pass up on the wing. And tipped out as Miller tried to deflect it in. Nathan Bolger. Back of the pocket loop in his own zone. Bolger. Hands it off for Mike Weaver. Now back to Nathan Bolger. Works his way to center and rings it in the zone. Thomas going after it. Comes in front. Ball to ball. The whole train missed it. Weaver fires, kicked out by Howard. Weaver on it again. Another shot sails over the net. Nathan Bolia at the line will settle it down. Back to Mike Weaver. Tees it up, and it's blocked by Howard, who holds on. Both, 
both the Canadians and the Red Wings love to collapse down low. So what that does, it opens up point shots. And the Red Wings are going to get one here, and it's Smith who actually tries to shoot this off those lively end boards, and it comes out in front to Glenn Denning. And then Weaver, who's back in the lineup again tonight and having a strong game, he gets a couple opportunities there, and that last one just glances off Jimmy Howard. And Weaver's been solid so far tonight. Boy, Ken, it's in Zetterberg will line up for the draw. And Zetterberg poked it forward to Abdelkader. Justin Abdelkader stopped by Markov, but he gets it back, went to jump it in, it hit Tatar, and that will allow Gallagher to bring it the other way. Gallagher with a shot that goes off the leg to the corner. He's back after it again, trying to send it around to Plakenitz, but it's broken up. Abdelkader back up with it. Suman will try to stand him up. Abdelkader rolls it around to Zetterberg. Henrik Zetterberg on the puck, trying to get away from Markov. Throws it over to Cronwall. Tip down low. Chance in front. It's a tire shot. Is off a stick and well over the glass. Well, the Red Wings, you always talk about Pavel Datsuk and Henrik Zetterberg. But last year, both players were injured. And that gave an opportunity for two young players to step in and contribute. Nyquist with the 28 goals last year. Tatar had 19, and it's no coincidence. They're the two leading goal scorers for the Red Wings this year. Nyquist and Tatar, also members of that 2013 Calder Cup team in Grand Rapids. And the Red Wings are a notorious team for letting their players over ripen in the minors. And they seem to have the right formula for breeding young star players. Uh, their roster is full of players that have gone through the Grand Rapids Griffins and Van Andel Arena as Jimmy Howard was one of them. He'll cover up the puck in the championship to that 2013 Calder Cup championship for the Grand Rapids Griffins. As you mentioned, a lot of the players had the opportunity to win that trophy. A absolutely, and it's, it's, it's something general manager Kenny Holland loves to do. Let his players develop and you look at the last two years and Nyquist with 48 goals, Tatar with 42, and you sometimes forget because we talk about Datsuk and Zetterberg so much that they've got some other good young players on this roster as well. And every player on that list, with the exception of Datsuk and Zetterberg, played in Grand Rapids. Here's Datsuk trying to get it in front to Erickson. That got deflected wide. Christian Thomas up with the puck. And he'll flip it out as it skips back to the Red Wings zone. Erickson going after it. Tangled up with Pacioretty. Threw it up the middle, and Darren Helm is on it. Helm skating it in, and he had it knocked off his stick as Thomas will play it out. Pacioretty dumps it into the Detroit zone, and Cronwall is there. He'll leave it to Kyle Quincy. Kyle Quincy. Taking his time with it. Now plays it up on the wing. Got by Suman and down the ice. Glendon going after it. Price out of the net. He'll play it around. Picked off by Riley Shan. Shan tied up by Markov. Dilla Rose trying to help out. Shan back on the puck. Riley Shan taken to the boards by Dilla Rose. Still hanging on to it. Now Dilla Rose got it back, but Shan finds it again. Riley Shan throws it over to Smith. Holding, waiting, and Price with a poke check knocked it off his stick. Smith trying to center for Stephen Weiss. Gets it back, feeds the line, and a drive by Shan is gloved by Price as he had to look around the traffic in front. A tough defensive shift for the Canadians as the Red Wings had Montreal hemmed in, and Riley Shan, the big center for Detroit, it does an excellent job of protecting the puck. Markov gets spun around. He just trying to keep Shan to the outside. So Della Rose comes in and sues the battle. And look at that. Real hard work down low. Great stick to keep Shan to the outside. And the puck finally comes to Shan. He just unleashes a blast. And Jerry Price makes the save. Zetterberg. Out there against Manny Moholtra. Moholtra won it. Back for Alexei Emlin. Turn it over in front. Zetterberg waiting with a shot and rolling wide as Gilbert was diving back to get his stick in the way. Cromwell hands it off. Thrown on net by Erickson. Price has got it. And he'll hang on. I think Alexei Emlin right there is saying thank you 
to his goaltender. Maholtra wins the draw. And Yemlin gets this, and he tried, he's trying to go hard through the middle, but he fans on it, goes right on the stick of Zetterberg. And look at, look at Tom Gilbert come over and bail out his partner. Great stick by Tom Gilbert, who back in the lineup tonight after being a healthy scratch, and he, along with Weaver, I think have been real solid defensively, and that's a heck of a play to bail out his partner, Alexi Yemlin, who has had a strong game, just a tough play to give away to Zetterberg. Gilbert up with it. Played it across for Gallagher. Now ahead to Thomas Placanitz, who will lift it in off the top of the glass, and it ends up falling out of play in the Red Wings zone. They weren't quite sure who was going to be in the lineup tonight. Pavarin was recalled, and there were thoughts he could be in the lineup, but Gilbert back in, and he's rewarded the Shelterian with some strong play. And before he was scratched, Alexi Emlin and Tom Gilbert were finding some pretty good chemistry together, and it looks like they've got that back tonight. Interesting to see how Michelle Therrien decides to use the defensive. Gonchar is out for the rest of the week with the back-to-back -back games Wednesday in Ottawa and Thursday back home against Florida. If Greg Pattern maybe gets an opportunity as Tatar runs Nathan Polia into the boards in between the benches. Here's Galchenia cutting in front, but his shot's off the stick and wide. Daniel Cater back on it. Played it up ahead for Zetterberg. Hendrick Zetterberg hands it off for Tatar. Back across for Abdelkader, and the pass went under his stick. And then Gilbert stands up Abdelkader and knocks him down. It was a big hit by Tom Gilbert on Abdelkader, who's been in the face of the Montreal defenseman all night. Six minutes gone here in the third. 25-22, the shots in favor of Montreal. Nine goaltender has had a puck get in behind them yet tonight. Now here's Helm trying to slide it over for Nyquist. It'll go to the corner as Markov's after it. Chip back around, Aaron Helm catches up to it, throws it back the other way. Stopped by Datsu, played it out for Nyquist, but it's taken away as Dale May will get it out. And Pacioretty sends it into the Red Wing zone. Cronwall back across for Nyquist, over to Cronwall again. Has to stop, turn back in his own zone and give it off to Nyquist. Helm shifted up ahead for Datsu. He'll dump it in. Gary Price playing it across for Markov. Over to Pacioretty. Thanks, Pacioretty. From center trying to tip it in as Helm was tangled up with Markov back in the Canadian zone. Yemelin feeds it over to Gilbert. He'll lift it in as Smith knocked it down and cleared it right back out. Alexei Yemelin on it again. Long feet ahead, intended for Port of Al, but it ends up down the ice, and will be an icing call against Montreal. Well, Thomas Tatar is the leading scorer for the Detroit Red Wings with 23 goals, and he gets physical here on Nathan Beaulieu, and that's a tough hit for Beaulieu. You're two or three feet from the boards, and look at Beaulieu's head. That goes right into the boards. He takes a look and gets Thomas Tatar's number. Dangerous looking play, and luckily for the Canadians, Beaulieu is okay and was able to get up after that hit. Canadians were dangerously close on that last play as well, but having too many men on the ice in the middle of the line change. Here's Quincy handing it on, pass in front, and unable to get a stick on it was Luke Glendening. Manny Mohotra will bounce it off the boards. Quincy clears it out, and Gilbert will chip it right back into the Red Wings zone. Glendening tied up by Bonaval. Danny Mohol trying to help out as Gilbert is back on it. They'll slide it over to Alexei Yemelin. Yemelin dumps it in. Canadians get the change. Danny the Kaiser has to play quickly as Christian Thomas was coming around. Now Thomas blocked the pass. Lars Heller along the boards jammed it. The Kaiser decides to go the other way. Put it off the stick of Dylan Rose. Weaver at center will stop it in London and will dump it in. Montreal and Detroit fans getting into it again here at the Joe. As the puck gets cleared down the ice. Icing waved off. Marchek goes back on it. Brandon pressed on the forecheck trying to tip it free. But it's picked off as Yimcho will get it up. Dilma Rose hands it back to Weaver. Mike Weaver played it across for Nathan Bollier. He'll take his time with it. And now wait. 
Chipped it up for Prust. Long pass ahead for Eller. Missed that one at center. And that will be an icing call against Montreal. Well, the Canadians back in action. On Scotiabank Wednesday night hockey as he'll head to the nation's capital to take on the Ottawa Senators Wednesday night. Tune in at 6.30 on Sportsman. A lot of rumors in Ottawa that Mark Mathot might be on the market. Mathot just signing a four-year deal today, so he can scratch his name off the trade market. And an, uh, a timeout called by the Canadians and Michel Therrien. Michel Therrien using his timeout here to give the Della Rose line a break before they take this face off. And, and Jacob Della Rose, as I mentioned before, is really earning the trust of Michel Therrien. Biggest reason, his work ethic and his compete level. It's been off the charts tonight. The back pressure, he doesn't give up on plays. He's finishing hits, physical on the forecheck. All these little things, being tough in the corners. This is what you love when you're a coach, to see your young 19-year-old player with less than 10 games NHL experience playing with this kind of heart and determination. It's contagious on the rest of the team. If you're a veteran player and you see a youngster like Della Rose playing that way, it's contagious on the rest of the hockey club. Red Wings win the draw. Cronwall hands it off to Tatar. Trying to center Sanderberg with a chance and he shot it over the net. Abdelkader ties up Weaver. Dilla Rose swiped it to the line. Erickson kept it in. Tatar trying to play. Pumped by Bolger. Heller will swing it around and Weaver goes after it. Mike Weaver playing it up for Brandon Press. He'll deflect it out. And the Wings are back on. Zetterberg deflects it in. Nathan Bolger back to get it. Put it up off the glass and down the ice. Cronwall back to get it. Cronwall waiting with it. Lekenis watching from the top of the crease. Pass thrown out and picked up by Nyquist. Ahead for Helm. Helm in trying to throw it to the net. Tipped on goal. Price will scoop it up and hang on. Approaching the midway mark of the third, scoreless in Detroit. You're watching Canadian Hockey on Sportsnet, presented by Roger. Now the way Carey Price and Jimmy Howard are playing tonight in this 0-0 hockey game, you're wondering that something's got to break. And for Max Pacioretty, he's been money in the third period. Leads the Canadians with six game-winning goals. Ironically, two of those game winners have come in 0-0 games, one against the Rangers, one against the Washington Capitals. And since 2013-14, Pacioretty leads in game-winning goals, tied with Ovechkin with those 17. And you have to think the longer we go, maybe Max Pacioretty's the one that breaks the ice here. Shot thrown towards the net, and Price will make the glove save there and hang on. He's been contained pretty well by the Red Wings tonight. Is Detroit has not given Pacioretty a lot of room. You know, his best play was probably the back check, and right here off the faceoff, the Red Wings win the draw again, and that's a da it's a dangerous looking play, and it's Helm providing the screen, screen in the traffic, and the Red Wings winning a lot of draws and getting pucks towards the net. Pacioretty has not recorded a shot on goal yet in this game. Here's Cronwall handing it off for Nyquist. Back for Cronwall, and he'll dump it in as Markov goes after it. Helm in there as well. Markov had his stick tied up, trying to kick it up the wing. Now it's through the feet of Plakanitz. Diving to keep it in was Erickson. Knocked it over to Cronwall. There and Helm trying to center it from Nyquist backhander. That got blocked. And it is shot out by Gallagher and down the ice. Nicholas Cronwell trying to use that Joe Lewis bounce as well. That's a set play. The Red, the Red Wings defense and practice this at, at the end of their practices. And it's something you do when you don't have a lane. You shoot it off the lively boards here, and you try and get that care to come out in front of the net. Nyquist ends up getting that puck, and the Red Wings forwards know where to go because they know the bounces in this Joe Lewis arena. Zetterberg won the draw. The Kaiser will dump it in. Markov got in the way. Markov checked as the puck comes around the board. Zetterberg try to keep it in. The Kaiser is on it. Feeds it over. The Quincy backhander towards the net goes wide. Zetterberg hustling after it, but Gallagher is there first. Brendan Gallagher finds a little room. Throws it in on net. Howard stands up to that. 
as Gallagher was still heading to the goal, so Howard's forced to hold it. And now Plakanitz gets tangled up with Quincy after the whistle. And where else would Brandon Gallagher be going except to the front of the net? And he's got a reputation in the league to being that guy that is not afraid to go there where you have to pay a price. If you're going to go to the net, the defensemen are going to take liberties on you, but it doesn't seem to deter Brandon Gallagher. You got nothing on the, on the rush. Throw it at the net. Hope for a rebound. Not enough forwards do that because this is what happens after. Placanix is actually the one that takes a little stick from Quincy. David D'Arnais and Luke Clendenning will line up for the draw. They don't like it. They'll do it again. And it's hooked into the corner and swiped around the boards by Erickson. Weiss trying to get it out, can't get it by Gilbert. Now it's off the skate and back into the Red Wings zone. Chance for Pacioretty as Erickson's stick broke. And Pacioretty can't find the shot on net. He's got the puck back now as he'll backhand it in. Erickson after it. They'll reset for the puck. Reese checked by Erickson. Dernay with it. Throws it in front, and that one goes off. Pacioretty hit a body and went over the net. Dale Weiss into the corner. Pacioretty waiting for it as Dale May kicked it free, but it comes to Erickson. Set around the wing. Weiss trying to deflect it out. Held in by Evelyn. Now it's out at center. Gilbert will take his time with it here. Let Dale May clear the zone and try to go up the board. So coming in, Ronnie Sham got on the way. Nathan Bolia. Long pass for Jacob De La Rose. He'll bounce it in off the glass. Brandon Press going after the puck. Press checked along the boards. De La Rose trying to play. Now Eller got knocked down on the play. Smith trying to pick it up. Back to his feet is Press. Eller in there as well. The wall jam at it. Anderson trying to pull it out. Puck finally comes loose. Brandon Press. Wanted to move it, and he's immediately tied up by Marchenko. Now breaks through. Center for the Rose. Can't get the shot on the short side. It's thrown in front, and Tomaszewczo is on it, and they'll hand it off for Miller. Miller dumped it in. Price is there to play it away. Anderson lifts it back around the glass. De La Rose trying to poke it free. Nathan Bolia wants to dig it out. Now the Wings trying to hold it down low in the Canadian zone. They'll hold it long enough to get a whistle. 7.35 to go in the third. Max Pacioretty with an opportunity, but still a scoreless game of Detroit with Canadian hockey on sports. A tough last shift for Jonathan Erickson, but maybe a good shift depending on how you look at it. He's going to get the puck here and break his stick, and all of a sudden it's desperation. When Pacioretty gets a shot, but Erickson just blocks that off his foot, and then DeHarnay throws one to the net. That goes right off the noggin of Jonathan Erickson. Almost deflects on net, but Erickson inadvertently blocks two shots on that last shift and gets the job done. It'll work for him anyway, as Helm is after it. Darren Helm spins, throws it in front off the skate of Markov. Puck loose in the crease as Price is down and it's chipped away. That's who couldn't pull it out. Going back towards the net goes wide. Gallagher is there. Takes a hit but swiped it out. That's it. Hands it off for Danny to Kaiser. Now back for Pavel Datsu. Flipped it up on the wing ahead to Darren Helm. Helm fires off the stick of Subban over the net. Subban now without a stick. Gallagher will give him his. Puck gets by Quincy and down the ice. The Kaiser. Up for the puck for the Red Wings. He'll retreat behind his own net. We saw the attack. Trying to force Tatar. And now it is blocked at center by Dale Armand. And he'll lift it right back in. Jonathan Erickson. Lays it up the middle. That got tipped away. Gilbert tangled up with that locator. Brought in by Thomas Tatar. Tatar spinning, drops it. Zetterberg shoots. Blocked in front by Gilbert. Tatar's got it again. Bounced it to the line. Erickson hands it off for Tatar. Broke it up. 
Pacioretty trying to get down the wing, and he's held back by Erickson as the Canadians bench are incensed and we're looking for an interference call. Abdul Kader for Zetterberg, and he'll lift it right back in. Price leaves it for Beaulieu. Weaver is there to get it. Mike Weaver ahead to Brandon Price, still deflected out. Lars Heller trying to move it. And it's tipped into the Red Wing zone, and after it goes Marchenko. Marchenko takes the hit from Price, played it over to Riley Shan. He'll get it out. And it's Glendon. And he'll try to jump it in, but the Red Wings have to clear the zone. Nathan Bolger doesn't like what he sees. He'll turn back with it and hand it across to Mike Weaver. Up to Lars Heller, and that's deflected in. Howard out of the net. Howard will hand it off. Throwing up the middle, Suman has got it. Spins, fires it right back in. Marchenko hangs onto it back in the net. Now it's played up. And there's Helm to tip it in. Suman going after a great play to swipe it away before Datsun could get to it. And it's deflected out as Thomas goes after it. At the line, an offside call against Montreal as Bonneval was trying to bring it in, but Thomas got ahead of the play. 4.55 to go in the third. Scoreless still in Detroit on Sportsnet. The, Can the Canadiens bench was hoping to get an interference call on Jonathan Erickson as Max Pacioretty was trying to get around him. And Erickson's going to get caught flat-footed, but it's that little push there. You see Michel Therrien raised his arms, and he might have got away with him on that, but he kept his feet moving. And here's a set break hook by the Red Wings. Datsuk is wide there, and watch him take off and fly the zone. Gets behind Montreal's defense, but the last moment, it's P.K. Subban in the desperation mode here. He dives, and he's just able to tip this puck. Otherwise, Pavel Datsuk would have been in all alone. Great hustle by Subban to get back on the play, and an offside call against Detroit. A lot of great defensive plays on both sides of the puck tonight for the Red Wings and the Canadians. Just these are the types of games when you have to have the extra efforts coming from all your players. And to a man, the Montreal Canadiens and Red Wings, tough to find any passengers in this game. Zetterberg and Placanitz for the draw. They don't do that one right as Chen Yuk and Tatar were trying to sneak in early. One thing, one thing that has been surprising is the Red Wings. They've been excellent on the faceoff tonight and been dominating Montreal so far. Been able to get some good opportunities, especially in the offensive zone, off of one draws. But Canets won the draw. Subban up with it. Played ahead for Gallagher. He'll deflect it in. Gallagher after it, swung it around the boards. Tatar is there, and Markov was pitching in at a stop and back out as Zetterberg will play it ahead off the stick of Abdelkader. Sumac around the net with it. Tatar stopped it. Abdelkader tied up by Plakenitz. Got taken down on the play, and the fans wanted a call here. Puck comes out. Quincy will dump it in. Blade offside, and the Red Wings have to clear as Abdelkader still in the zone. Now it's Galchenyuk stops, tries to get by Zetterberg and does. Galchenyuk in the Red Wing zone on his own. Hands it up for Thomas. Thomas lost it. And Nutquist will bring it back up ice for Detroit. Flipped into the corner as Gilbert is there to bat it away from Helm. Gimlin gets it off the glass in it. And that play is called on a high stick. Let's check in with Brendan Dunlop and Ivanka Osmak at Sportsnet Central to see what's coming up after the game. We'll have all your Habs post-game reaction and hear from the Hockey Central panel. Connor McDavid with a holiday matinee in the O. We'll show you that as well. See you then. Thank you very much, guys. And that is coming up after the hockey game tonight, which right now... Looks like it may go beyond 60 minutes. It's been that kind of a game tonight. Gilbert trying to tie up Miller. Up brought back in. Brandon Press will deflect it along the boards. And Brendan Smith is back to get it. Smith will play it down the middle. That will end up down the ice. It will be an icing call against the truck. And it was a close one. But Gilbert had the edge at the dots. You hear that Joe Lewis faithful booing that last icing call. Take a look at this race for the puck. 
And it's Gilbert that gets on his horse here. Just that last little push. It's almost like he's running the 100 meter and he just puts the stick in at the last second to make sure the tie goes to the runner. Subban back up with it. Curls away from Riley Shamp. Throws it over to Dale Weiss. Weiss up with it. Faked the cup and then carried it in. Ends up being an offside against Montreal. And P.K. Subban has had another excellent tonight, night tonight for the Montreal Canadiens. Prowling that bouncing pocket. He loves to spin to his backhand. He's so strong with the puck, so hard to knock off the puck when he goes to that backhand side. He's able to create some time and space for himself. Puck dumped into the Red Wings zone. Cromwell goes after it. Cromwell hands it off for Erickson. Up on the board, Suman stopped it. And he'll chip it back in. Suman already over 25 minutes of ice time tonight. So a little less than he had Saturday, but there's still more hockey to come in this one. Helma lifted in. Markov going after and not Chris is on it. Spins with a shot stopped by Price. Hatcheretti will get it off the glass. Kept in by Cromwell. He'll fire it's off the stick of Dale May. Suban up the boards, and that one got by Erickson and out. Here comes Pacioretty, shoot, stopped by Howard. First shot and end of the game for Pacioretty. Turnover, Klikanic, fires, scores! Thomas Klikanic with two and a half minutes to go in the third. Puts the Canadians out from one nothing. You look at the emotion of Thomas Placanitz after this goal. It didn't look like anyone was going to give an inch. Both goaltenders playing some excellent hockey tonight, but it's Patch Reddy who gets his first opportunity, snaps it. Jimmy Howard way out of his net, and all of a sudden Placanitz comes off the bench, puck ends up on his stick, and Placanitz just unleashes a big bomb to the left side. He's going to beat Jimmy Howard over on the blocker side. And Pacioretty actually called for that puck, looking for the one-timer, but Placanath does the right thing and blasts the first goal of the game by Jimmy Howard. Nice little play to use the screen. Howard broke his stick afterwards as well. And the Canadians have the game's opening goal, and now with just over two minutes left, the Red Wings will have to press the top. Puck played ahead as Stephen Weiss tipped it in, and it's cleared right back out by Gilbert. Belchenia trying to go after it. Tangle up with the corner with the Kaiser. Kyle Quincy hands it off for Luke Glendening. And Glendening will turn back in his own zone. Dale Reese and Max Pacioretty picking up the assist on the Thomas Placanitz goal. It extends his point streak to four games. Now here comes Datsuk and there goes Howard to the bench. Datsuk dancing in and lost the puck. Markov trying to tie him up. Zetterberg in there as well. It's poked away from Helm. P.K. Subban is on it. He'll get it around the glass. That one's deflected out. Lars Eller reaching for it towards the empty net. Rolls wide. Tatar is back on it. In comes Brandon Prust. He'll run into Tatar. Lars Eller trying to jar it free. Tatar's got a jam with his skate. Zetterberg will slide it back to the goal. Cromwell has to go after it. Prust in on the four check again, but now it's Zetterberg that's up with it. Henrik Zetterberg. Pass across for Brendan Smith. Gains the zone, left it for Tatar, lost it to Lars Eller. Trying to get it out, and that one is off the glass and out of play with a minute five to go in the third. Good smart play by Eller, getting that puck out. And we're gonna take another look at this goal. It's the shot by Patrick, but watch the smart little backhand between the leg pass from Dale Weiss. Weiss puts that puck right on the stick of Thomas Placanitz and a very smart play by Dale, Dale Weiss. Thomas Placanitz finishes it off with a great shot to the blocker side. And now a timeout called here by Detroit. Now with 105 left in this game, Carey Price has been excellent all night long. 25 saves so far in this game, and Thomas Pacanis and the Canadians were able to solve Jimmy Howard on their 28th shot of the night. It's been a great hockey game, back and forth hockey. 
fast paced and some great extra efforts defensively by both teams. It's Mike Babcock devising a plan here. Trying to figure out a way for the Red Wings to solve the Montreal Canadiens and Terry Price. So Howard will come back off the bench and he'll be up on the high slot to start off the draw. Howard's, Howard's almost out to the blue line. And the hope says that the Red Wings win the faceoff, get it deep, and Howard will come right to the bench. Plakanitz lines up against Datsuk, and Plakanitz won it. All the way back into the Canadian zone. Price will hand it off to Subban. He gets it off the glass and out and down the ice. Bonwall back on it on the icing call against Montreal. And now we'll have a face out for the Canadian zone, and Howard goes to the mix. And that's a smart play by P.K. Subban. With 57 seconds left in the game, the ice is bad. The puck is rolling on your stick. Don't try and take chances and, 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 and make something that's not there. He just gets the puck off the glass. And sometimes with the way this partition glass is, it'll deaden the puck and not go all the way down for an icing. And I think that's what Subban was hoping, that he'd go off the glass and maybe that would slow that puck down a little bit. So the Red Wings net is empty. Dad Suk out there against Plakanitz for the draw. And it rolls back to Andre Markov. He'll get it around the boards. Kept in by Detroit. Plakanitz will chip it out. And Cromwell is back on it. Being watched by Gallagher. Played ahead for Pamela Datsuk. Datsuk chips it in. Price stops it. He'll ring it around the boards. As Pantoretti trying to tip it out. Couldn't do it. Nyquist up with it. Hands it off for Tatar. Back for Zetterberg. Zetterberg off for Tatar. Tatar to Zetterberg. Zetterberg hands it off for Cromwell. Lost a handle on it. Suman flipped it to the line. Zetterberg kept it in. Nyquist. Can't play it. Now it's picked up by Natsu. Natsu to the net, flipped in the air, and knocked away by Plakanitz. He'll get it off the glass. That puck will be out. Pacioretty for the empty net. Scores! Max Pacioretty throws the puck into the empty net for number 26 of the year. It all starts in the Canadian zone zone. Look at the extra effort by Subban. Datsu tries to go to the net hard, but Plakanix gets this puck and just puts enough off to get it out of the zone. Pacioretty jumps on that loose puck. It's rolling, but he makes no mistake as he deposits that into the empty net. And the Canadians, who have not won five straight against Detroit since winning six in a row from October 91 to 93, will now have five straight wins against the Red Wings as Carey Price gets his first career shutout against Detroit, his fifth of the season and 30th of his career to take sole possession, a fifth all-time on the Habs shutout list, passing Patrick Roy as the Habs win it two to nothing. A textbook defensive game for the Montreal Canadiens. They outshot the Red Wings 30-25. Gary Price did make some great saves, but defensively, Montreal was excellent tonight. Thomas Plakanitz gets the assist on the empty netter by Max Pacioretty. It's a two-point night for Thomas Plakanitz as he picked up his 29th career game-winning goal. He's the first star, Gary Price, with 25 saves in the shutout second star tonight. Jimmy Howard outstanding, 28 saves in net for Detroit as well. But the Canadians with a 2-0 win. As we send it to Sportsnet Central and say so long from the trunk.